Okay, here's the uh, reassembly for the AGM L96 Airsoft Sniper Rifle. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to start off with is uh, your spring, whatever the heck this is, and your little air sucking something. Okay, uh, I'm going to slide that in there. The exact same way you can't slide in backwards, otherwise it won't work. So that it, it make sure that the spring is showing through that little crease right there. So, and then you'll take the brass top piece of the bolt and just slide that right on. I actually got a cut on my hand from doing that about eight times because uh, too many disruptions. Okay, there's my dog. She's right now at the door. She's like, oh, I'm coming in. But she's not just doing noise. Okay, so the next step is kind of confusing, but you're going to need this piece. So check that out and make sure you have that. If you don't have that, you're kind of in trouble. Get this piece as well, uh, kind of like the bolt guard. Make sure you've cleaned it and everything. I've cleaned mine and it looks good. So you're going to want to take this. And if you look on the bottom, there's a little half circle, uh, a male part and a female part. This part's the female part, this part's the male part. So this part will connect to this one. We'll call this part A, we'll call this part B. Part A connects to part B, just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the bolt, set that down. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the trigger. And take the trigger assembly and just slide that on so it matches up with your holes that are uh, your pre-existing holes. And then you basically just screw that in. Screw in the back first and then the, uh, the front. There's multiple ways that you can put it together like in a different order but I prefer this way because I just took like 25 minutes just figuring out which way is faster and this one works. So go ahead and screw that in. Make sure you don't like strip the screws. So you don't feel by new ones, and then put the front. Put one on the front. There's my one on. Also, when you're putting this and connecting, well, we'll call the trigger guard, or the trigger assembly part three. Also, well, it's real, it should be nice and tight. And connect part three to part. Uh, wait. I think one is A and B. This is A, this is B. You want to connect part C to part A and B. Don't worry about this. Okay, looks like I had a little bit of a... I thought someone was knocking on my window, but apparently it fell over. I need to get like a stand for this thing. There we go. Freaking cage. Okay. So, yeah, ready to go. Alright, so make sure you have part C connected to part A and B. And make sure it's all nice and tight. But don't worry about this part. We'll call this part. We'll call this part Z because it's one of the most important parts. 
Okay, and then you're gonna want to take your bolt and insert it exactly the way that I do. Because if you don't, if you try to put it in this way, it's gonna scrape up against this because that's what this crease is for. So you're gonna want to take it and insert it from the top or the front of part B. Once you line that up and everything gets going, it'll get stuck. It'll get stuck right there. Well, if you look on the side, this thing is so annoying. And this glass is about to fall. Gosh dang. Okay, that should be good now. For the love of God, this thing is annoying. Okay, okay. So, it should get stuck. And uh, the way that you're gonna overcome this is there's a little spring right here on the side of the trigger guard. You just wanna pull that up and work your bolt through slowly. Slowly, but you know, get it free so it can move a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take part Z, as mentioned before, and if you look down in this hole right here, part Z fits in just like that. And make sure it fits in right, in the right spot. It'll fit in until it's like a quarter of the way in. And once it's in about a quarter of the way, check where I'm at, can you see? I think I'm, I'm too far over. If it gets too far over, just pull that spring back again and pull it back in. It won't, won't be too far. And then you just want to... Oops. That's not where it's supposed to go. I'm wasting so much time with my arrows and my camera. It's freaking falling over and stuff. Okay, now it should get to about a point where it's about there. Once it does that, just jiggle it a little bit. And then it should be able to just snap right in there once you get it lined up perfectly. Now don't push it too hard, just take some time. Once it lines up all right, then go ahead and snap it on in. Because there's, there's a little cut in circle like sphere, and then on the bottom inside the assembly there's a a male sphere, we have a female, see it just clicks right in because it needs to get over that male sphere to get the female one in there, now it's locked in tight. The only way you can get that back out is if you unscrew this, you unscrew this, and this pops out, you take the spring out and everything, and then you just pull the trigger assembly off. That's if you're disassembling it. So, uh, yeah, now everything is all connected and it's not going to come off. So, next thing uh, we need to put on is the bolt. I'm not sure if you can make this in. No, you can't make it in extra. But just slide that right on in there. Take this piece. Make sure that you have that little silver pin that I mentioned earlier in the other video. Make sure that it goes in just like this. You got the small side or the skinnier side goes into the part that you're putting on to the part that's already assembled. So just take your bolt, put your bolt uh, on. And if you can see it, there's a little, there's a space where you're, uh, I'll see if you can, you can view that. There's a space where a little hole is, is, and then there's another one where a little arc, a little extruded arc is. Uh, on this piece, there's the same thing. This is the female piece, this is the male piece. And uh, we're just going to match that up. We're going to match that up. And it should fit right on in good. Nice and snug. Don't force anything on though, because you don't want any parts breaking, even though it's metal. Plastic guns are way harder to do. But, you know, you just don't want it to be. Mine's being kind of a little hole right now. So I can bring it on the top of that position. I think that's, yeah. 
So 